Hello, Buckman. It's Thursday, and you know what that means. It's Theater Thursday! <laughs> yeah! Theater Thursday! So, uh, today we're gonna be playing with pictures. We're gonna make tableaus. Tableau uh, comes from a French word, which means picture. So, when we make tableaus, it means we take a picture, a painting, a sculpture, something like that, and we reenact that picture with our bodies, still in space. The Getty Museum is an important art institution in Los Angeles, California, and they recently put a challenge online for people to recreate items from their collection, the pieces of art there. People can go online and see every piece of art at the Getty Museum, and then they can recreate that art at home with their bodies and the things around them. This guy cut out a bunch of blue squares to help him make a checkered outfit and he also used paper towels for his cuffs and his collar, and then he positioned himself just right. This woman doesn't have a harp at home, so she's using a vacuum cleaner. But she does have a stool she can sit on, and she can position her body just like the statue. See how she's using her facial expression, the color of her dress, her necklace, and a piece of cloth for her head to replicate the picture. And this is one of my favorites because of the way they repurposed everything and their attention to detail. They've got that um, sleeping bag for a dress and a, a bucket for the guy's hat. Um, they even have the red chair in the background and a mixing bowl on the, that cabinet instead of the mirror that's in the picture. And of course their chandelier is perfect that's in the house. And even down to the, the little stuffed dog in their picture mirrors the dog in uh, the painting and even they have some slippers on the floor, just like in the painting. So this is a great example of people using what they have at home. There's also been a trend of people using toilet paper, particularly for neck ruffs. And while this is very effective and also very funny, please ask whoever buys the toilet paper in your home before you do anything like this. This woman also put a present day twist on a classic Diego Rivera painting by adding some sanitizer and a mask instead of the girl's booklet. So we're gonna do that same thing today. I want you to find a picture that you want to recreate. I'll put up a link to the Getty Museum's uh, bank of images as well as the Portland Art Museum. Maybe you'll see something there that you've seen before. They have most of their art online. And the Cleveland Museum of Art as well. I grew up in Cleveland, Ohio, and they have a wonderful museum there. My mom used to take me there when I was a little kid. It's really world class and they have everything online. So feel free to use those resources or anything else you can find. Remember, just anything that has a person in it, a picture, um, a, a painting, a photograph, or a sculpture, things like that are great. And here are a few examples of some pieces of work that I recreated. Here's my recreation of The Driller by Max Kalish. Um, I didn't have a jackhammer, so I used a pogo stick and a pair of gardening gloves. So for this one I just used a couple of sweaters and a jar in the background. Um, yeah, he's got a black robe, so I just put on a black sweatshirt backwards, and then he has that weird hat on, but I have this red long sleeve shirt, and it seemed to work just fine if you tuck it in. So make sure you know which way they're looking, that's what I'm doing right there, and find their face, find their pose, and there you go. It is beautiful. This is an untitled piece by an artist named Robert Gober, and it lives at the Cleveland Museum of Art, and I'd see it a lot when I was a kid. Um, it's very strange, it's just a sculpture of a leg from the shin down coming out of the wall of the museum. <laughs> so um, I thought I'd recreate it and uh, I, I made a little video to show you the process of recreating this one. I'd like to start off by saying I, I know I'm using my right foot here and this is a statue of a left foot but I just couldn't find the other shoe in this pair so it's what we're stuck with. Now I'm going to take the sock there and uh, make sure it's just about the right length and pull the rest down, <laughs> tuck it under, hide it in the shoe, that should work. I put on my gray pants, rolled them up a bit so there's some nice, uh, you can see the leg between the sock and the pant leg. And then I took a piece of poster board and I cut what looks like a little mouse hole in it, just big enough for my leg. Right, put it right there, just below the knee, somewhere up the shin, and uh, then I set up the shot. This is a really fun game to play with others, too. You can find pictures with more than one person, and all play different people. Everyone finds their own costume. It's really fun. You can also include your pets. 
um, like this guy. Uh, this is a, a, a painting of a saint taking a thorn out of the paw of a lion, so the guy used his dog as the lion, and I thought that was pretty adorable. I really love this one. This is a, a, a Dali painting. He made very, very weird paintings, as you can see, and I really like how they transformed that guy into a snail with what looks like some sort of bench and a blanket. This is another one of Dali's self-portraits, and uh, this kid really made it work with that facial expression. And I wonder if any of the parents out there are feeling like this dad right now. This is a fabulous example of costuming. Uh, you see they used a, a, a giraffe onesie on one side and some sort of sweater on the other. I think the personal touches are what make this one really special. You see she's uh, washing her stuffed animals and you can see the, the woman in, in the painting has some special red shoes on. Those seem like special shoes to her. And uh, the girl in the picture is wearing her special slippers. This guy really nailed the details with this one. She really paid attention to the details too, especially the color of the background. This guy really brings a fleece blanket to life with his facial expression. And look at how they painted his face to have a beard and the brush strokes from the painting. Go on to the next slide, and you can find links to the art at the Portland Art Museum, the Getty Museum, and the Cleveland Museum of Art. I'll also include a link to the Getty Museum's blog post about their challenge. And they have a lot of great tips there, and even more examples that I didn't share with you. I had a lot of fun participating in the Getty Museum's challenge this week, and I hope you do too. Uh, as always, send in your photos and videos of things you're making. We love to see them, or just do them at home for your own fun. That's fine too. Uh, I will see you next week on Thursday.